Egyptians, the natives, pre-Islamic Arabia, South Asia, and Europeans all worship the Nephiliums, half fallen angel and half human. It all starts in Genesis with the fall of Lucifer, when the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of which they chose. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. They perverted God's creation, and are the mighty men which were of old, men of renown, which Genesis chapter 6 verse 4 speaks of. We see the giants were seen as heroes in their day. They even tried building a tower to reach heaven. This made the Lord scatter them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth. This explains why different religions and cultures all around the earth have these half-human, half-demon looking gods they worship. Their gods were scattered across the earth with fallen angel wisdom. They gave these ancient civilizations unknown mysteries and advanced technology not yet known to man. This is why modern historians will say, these ancient civilizations had hidden knowledge or further technological advancements in civilizations today. Further evidence that all these gods originated from Babylon, they all believe in multiple gods with their own story, using magic to reach for further advancement. Speaking of the Tower of Babel that was scattered abroad by God, is this maybe why different governments are joining forces to create a one world religion? Because when we look at the Bible, God states, confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. This was a clear objective by God to weaken them as a whole through confounding their tongues and dividing them. The New World Order agenda to make a one world religion is not only anti-Christ, but with the motive to unite nations against God himself, like the people of the Tower of Babel. Where's the evidence for this Bible thrumping conspiracy? I'd love to show you. In a very Islamic nation, they have allowed a church and a temple to be built right next to a mosque for the purpose of welcoming people to connect, explore, and reflect. Funded by the UAE government, and Abu Dhabi, UAE, United Arab Emirates. The Catholic Pope claims that God wants fraternity between Catholics and Muslims, and that we have the same God. In the Catechism, it also states the plan of salvation also includes those who acknowledge the Creator in the first place, amongst whom are the Muslims. The Catechism is a summary of Catholic principles and instructions. Helena Petrova, Blavatsky taught that the Gospels were just an allegory. She paved the way for modern day spirituality, a part of the New Age Reformation movement she believed in, Theosophy, which promotes that knowledge of God may be revealed through spiritual ecstasy, direct intuition, or special individual relations. Self-proclaimed spiritualists will promote coexist and that Jesus taught all of us that we are gods to reach a higher consciousness as one. This is so far from the truth, but we see it in the church today. Remember what I told you about theosophy? Spiritual ecstasy is practiced through wild, spontaneous, uncontrollable movement, shaking laughter, falling down, anger, or other uncontrollable emotions. Direct intuition is practiced through God told me, the Holy Spirit told me, God revealed to me, I have a prophetic message, I'm a very spiritual person. What's true for me isn't true for you. Who are you to judge? Who am I to judge? Are all common terms of direct intuition, which is dangerous because you become the God of your life and your beliefs can easily be altered. On the surface, these beliefs appear good, but are rooted in demonic communication, witchcraft, and antichrist. Now it makes sense why they're creating a one world religion. Looking across the earth, we see the remains of their fallen Babylonian society. We see the pyramids across South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. They're all here, very similar designs with the purpose of reaching heaven. We also see their ancient gods in Hinduism, ancient South American and Central American religions, Celtic paganism in Europe, Zoroastrianism in the Middle East, and ancient Egyptian gods. If you look closely, all their gods have a half human and half animal appearance and were seen as mighty heroes. Could this be the giant or the Nephilim the Bible speaks of? I believe all the evidence leads us to say yes. This is no coincidence. So I implore you to seek truth, which is in the Bible, 
but let God's word transform you instead of you interpreting the scriptures off of your worldview. It says, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. This is our Lord and our God, Jesus Christ. I pray this was edifying for you and I hope you have a blessed day.